Actually, the first call happened just after 1030 this morning. The Richland County Sheriff's Office says they got a report that someone had been shot inside Blythewood High School. Obviously, they acted immediately and Sheriff Leon Lott says the school staff, police officers, they handled the situation exactly how they should have springing into action. Here's more of what he had to say. It was um, an exercise. It was a practice and we saw how we would respond if we ever did have an active shooter in one of our schools. Nothing prepared me to see the video of those students running out of Blythewood High School with their hands behind their heads as a way to show law enforcement that they were not the threat. What do you say to parents tonight who are concerned and don't know how to have that tough conversation with their kids about going back to school tomorrow? You know, nothing prepared me as well, uh, Darcy. I was there and I saw it firsthand. Uh, students coming out of the building with their hands high or on their head, faculty and staff coming out. Um, some who were stopping to assist students who could not uh, run out on their own. Students had, some students had to be uh, pushed in wheelchairs. Some students were on crutches and had to be assisted. Uh, I saw the, frust the anger, the frustration, the anxiety in their faces, the tears. I saw it firsthand. Uh, and um, I would say to those families, um, maybe just spend some time just hugging and loving on your children tonight. Dr. Davis made it very clear that no one was physically injured. Right. But you don't know how the feelings are hurt until you start asking those questions. So Jennifer Wolf is a friend of Friend at Five. She is a certified trauma specialist. She works specifically with kids and adults who have PTSD. And Jennifer, what I was saying to our news director earlier today when I looked at this situation, and, you, and, and I hope I'm not using this term incorrectly, but I feel like our kids are constantly living in a state of fight or flight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And unfortunately there can be uh, just based on that traumatic exposure whether it's perceived or it's an actual threat that sometimes when there's just a perception or there's the unpredictability factor that can be more traumatizing than mm -hmm. actually experiencing the the event so you three ladies on the front row are richland district two students so um, Samantha, you are a Blythewood High School student. When you saw what happened today, what did you think? I was, I was actually not physically there at first. I was actually on a field trip for my teacher cadet class. But the second it happened, I got a lot of phone calls from my friends saying that there is a gun in the school. And at first, I, I was horrified. I was thinking, oh my gosh, people I know, people I love are going to die today. That was my first thought, and it horrified me. We saw the Snapchat videos, we saw the Instagram videos, and a lot of the videos the kids were saying, we thought this was a drill. Do you feel like you guys are maybe becoming desensitized to this type of thing? Well, I think, like, with everything that's going on today, that um, in some ways it's, like, I hate to say that it's almost normal because there's, you hear about all these like shootings go ar going around in our nation and I think our schools and our school district did a really good job of preparing us. Um, you know, we had these like drills, like lockdown drills, and I think that we really have to thank our teachers and our school administrators for really um, demonstrating strong leadership and teaching us like the correct ways to um, react in situations like this. I just have to say, like as a mom, it absolutely broke my heart to hear Samantha, the student from Blythewood High School, say that what she thought was people I know are going to die today. It makes my voice shake, so I want to bring in certified trauma specialist Jennifer Wolf to talk about those real emotions that our students felt today. Um, how on earth do you start to heal from feeling that? Uh, I don't think it's something you're going to get over. I believe you have to acknowledge the tremendous sadness in this and the fear without allowing fear-based thinking to become all-consuming because that's not healthy. So it's unfortunate and it's alarming that a young person would say people that I know and love are going to die today.